Hey guys, Frozen Nexus here, and I'll be bringing you my first tutorial or kind of let's play of uh, Minecraft Tech at Legends. And this entire series isn't going to be a tutorial. I'll put the word tutorial on the ones that are tutorials, and then the ones that are not tutorials will, you know, not have the word tutorial on them. Now, first off, I want to say that I'm not going to explain the crafting system because, oh, sorry, I'm up right now, so let me turn that. Actually, let me t make it day real quick and slash time set zero alright and then I'm gonna de myself that way I can actually click on the recipes alright so the first thing that you want to start working towards is this thing right here the philosopher's stone you may be thinking how do I get diamond well I mean diamond let's face it and tech it this is really just an expansion on the regular Minecraft mod, so you definitely, like, you're going to start building up stuff real quick. Pretty much everything requires diamonds. I think even macerators do now, if I'm correct. Oh, no, they don't. Well, anyway, the first thing you want to start working towards, I should say, is the Philosopher's Stone. The Glowstone is not hard to get. I mean, you can just go into the uh, Dark Zone. My god, I've been playing too much of the Division go into the nether and grab some glowstone you need to mine like two blocks of it and you're done and pigmen do not attack you while mining glowstone like they do if you mine ore so yeah I get the philosopher's stone and once you've done that you want to make a transmutation table one of these things right here and this is going to require obsidian which I'm sure you'll have some obsidian already because to get that glowstone you would have had to make a portal you could honestly destroy your portal for this obsidian now if you want because you don't really need obsidian anymore i mean as long as you get one piece of obsidian you can make as many as you want and so once you've done that you can right click this transmutation table and anything you put into it can be turned into emc you see that number going up each time i put a stack in each stack is worth 64 what this does is it'll allow me to take those cobblestone and if I want I could turn it into 11 diamonds or 45 coal or I don't know a stack of gunpowder things like that that way you only have to build things once because if you go ahead and look at some of the recipes in here uh, I don't really know what exactly I should use as an example how about a reactor reactor uh, there we go nuclear reactor I mean the stuff isn't stuff that you can exactly like you see the refined iron has an EMC value but the iron furnace does not and nor does the RE battery but because the refined iron does it makes it a little bit easier this stuff you the redstone and the tin both have EMC values the cable does not what it really does is it pretty much halves your crafting time it I, I would say a little more than half really because you don't have to go find the items anymore you can just turn anything you want into them but at the same time, you know, it does kind of make the game a little easier. And so it's up to you whether or not you want to use this. But I definitely use it. After you've built your transmutation table, though, but, I mean, this may come before or after this next part. The first machine you're going to need to build is some form of a generator. We prefer to go geothermal just because a regular generator will eat through tons and tons of coal if you go ahead and look at the generator it's very simple build an iron furnace is just iron in the shape of a furnace or a furnace with less iron around it and then three refined iron across the top and then a battery these batteries are probably the most annoying part to make I honestly think I have everything I need just to make one real quick uh, let's see I don't think I do yeah no uh, wait do I furnace uh, I just need to go get some iron and I can make one for you guys real quick and show you how they work there we go uh, yep I did that wrong I meant to get refined iron oh wow and I don't think I have any pre-made refined iron so if I just go in here like I was talking about wow I don't have it in here either now oh, that's gonna be an issue so well, this will give me a perfect chance to show you exactly how that transmutation table works. Just throw an iron in there, wait for it to create a refined iron, and you'll see that I only have one in my inventory, and I'll turn this one into the eight that I need. So, there we go. And if you shift-click it, it says learned right there, obviously. And then, when I search for iron, 
I can go ahead and just transfer my EMC into iron and then I can come over here and make a machine block out of it there we go and now I can make my generator what the hell am I doing wrong? I'm just, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm really like, I'm really, uh, like out of it today. Okay, it's a regular furnace. My god, I had it right. It just, I'm so sorry guys, that, that I'm just an idiot. Alright, so once you've done that, you're going to need to connect it to the wiring somehow. Anywhere really works, you don't have to make it somewhere simple. Let me grab a pickaxe so I can just get to the wiring underneath my house. I don't know if we have any pre-made pickaxes. Well, I accidentally put that down, so I'll show you how this, how to pick them up then. Yep, don't have a pickaxe, so I'm just going to make one real quick. I highly suggest you make them out of these gems, like sapphires, rubies, and I don't amethyst don't work, I don't think. What they do is they allow you to make a pickaxe that is the efficiency of iron, meaning it'll mine just as quickly as iron does. The only difference between it and iron, or sorry, it has the efficiency of diamond, so meaning you'll mine as fast as you would with a diamond pickaxe but it has the durability of iron. I'm, I, like I said, I'm really out of it today. Alright, so now that I accidentally placed this, I, have, I will now have to show you how to go ahead and pick it up. What you need is a electric wrench. As you can see right here, it's just made from a wrench, industrial circuit, and a battery. It's pretty simple. Uh, once I've made it, I'll cut back to you guys. Well, actually, I have half the bronze here. I don't really need to. Um, Alright, hey guys, I'm back. So, once you've gotten the electrical wrench, now you will need to, I think it's L that you press. I don't know what the key exactly is to press for me. It's L. It will change it to lossless mode. It's already on that for me. Just figure out what your key binding is and make sure it's lossless mode. That way when you wrench it, it'll pick up. But you don't have any power in it yet. And well, luckily, you just accidentally misplaced your generator, so you can just throw your wrench right in there, and it will charge your wrench for you. You don't need to charge it full way to pick up an item, but it'll, you know, do pretty well if you do charge it full way. There's no harm in charging it all the way. It doesn't, you know, leak energy or anything. It will always have uh, the same amount of energy you left off with, so you don't have to worry about it or anything. So once you have the wrench, just go ahead and right-click the item. And there you go. You've picked up your generator again. And now I'm actually going to go place it with my wiring. Let's see. It is... That's the bat box right there. So, 
if I just go grab a piece of wiring real quick out of my project table, and I just take the whole stack, I can just bring it right over here. Here, I'll, I'll bring it out further so you guys can see it better. And put down the generator right here. And if I put coal into it, it will start charging the bat box. The bat box is a storage unit. I will bring up the recipe right now on screen. And yeah, what it's three RE batteries. It holds 40,000 charge, which is actually more efficient than each RE battery because each one holds uh, 10,000. Wait, is that 10,000? That's a hundred. What? That's 10,000. It's just really weird with the Minecraft zeros and the yeah. But it holds 40,000, which means it's more efficient than the three RE batteries on their own. And it will charge pretty much, you know, all the way and stay there. Right now, this generator isn't being used because the geothermal generator that we are using is providing most of the power to the house. And later on, we will show you how to get infinite uh, lava for geothermal generator. It involves the nether. So, yeah, that will be in a future episode. So just subscribe and you'll see that out come out in the next few days. And once you've built your generator and you have power, your first thing that you're going to want to use power for is this machine right here, a macerator. As you probably just saw there, it turned one copper ore into two copper dust. Copper dust then can be used in the electric furnace to make into bars, which I have iron in here right now, but I could just as easily switch it out for copper, and it will do the same thing, and you are smelting without having to actually use coal. The only thing you're using coal for is this generator. Now, like I said before, I highly recommend that you do not use a generator uh, from the very well you can use it from the very beginning to get a start but I would swap over to geothermal as soon as you can because that will be the most productive for the time being and when I upload that video on how to get infinite lava for it it, it will really really help you out but as you can see I am now making copper ingots and that can be used to make things like wiring or if you really want to see what it can be used for just go in the bottom and type copper ingot uh, there it is and you can see some of the stuff it can be used for or how to smelt it you know just a lot of stuff it's pretty you know you know self-explanatory all this all these things on the right here tell you how they're made like copper stairs okay I need blocks of copper like that uh, there are several things in here in this mod too they're like guns and well power knuckles I have no idea what they do but yeah all this stuff is really interesting and I can't wait to bring you guys more videos on it so that's pretty much it that's how you get started get a generator a macerator an electric furnace and then start working your way onto the transmutation table personally I just keep digging for diamonds until I can get a transmutation table because it makes everything easier you're probably wondering why though we keep everything as you know in here rather than just throw it all in the transmutation table it's because that EMC value is only static towards your player meaning the guy I live with my good friend Blake he added like I I did not build this house on my own I, I gotta show you it's really nice from the outside we haven't finished these windows down here but it looks really nice and this is something that I could never do like I can't build at all I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking like oh my god that's just like the most basic box house in the game but like this is just more than I could do in the first place so yeah I don't really complain about it I think it looks nice the one thing I did do and I'll just show it off real quick is I made a Tesla coil defense system and I'm gonna I'm gonna go show you what that's like it's pretty funny to be honest if you just walk like if you walk anywhere alongside this wall you're fine but if you step outside, it just goes to shit. See? Alright, one second, because I'm getting a Skype call. Sorry about that. I had to decline a Skype call real quick. You probably heard the bloop bloop thing in the background. I don't know if it's actually recording that, but yeah, sorry about that. And, you know, I'll be making a video on that Tesla coil defense system as well, but that'll all be in a future video. I rambled a lot in this video. There probably wasn't much that went on. I only told you about three or four blocks and re the real very basics to tech it. So if you just stay tuned, you know, click that subscribe button, give this video a like if you liked it, and I'll definitely bring you more. That'll be way more in depth as we go along. I can just show you some of the other stuff we have. We have over here 
a pretty huge quarry, which quarries are cool. They make things for, or they mine for you pretty much. It's in a 64 by 64 plot of land, so it's pretty slow, but yeah, this will keep mining. As you can see, it'll teleport the items, and then that goes into a chest sorting room in the bottom basement of our house, as well as we have that infinite pool of lava thing, which I'll show you how to do that. And yeah, that's there's going to be a lot of stuff I have to show you guys in this series, and there will probably be several parts to it. And there are also going to be some parts where it's just me playing the game rather than sitting here talking to you guys the whole time. Just because you don't really get a feel for Tech It by just watching some guy explain how it works. you got to see it in action. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please give it a like. It really means a lot to me. I'm a very small YouTube channel, and thanks so much. Peace out.